really one of his most impressionist, impressionistic paintings. Uh, called Omnibus, it shows the interior of, of a, such a horse-drawn carriage that ran through, through Paris. Um, Sorn has told us in his autobiographical notes that he had to make quite a few trips on, on this omnibus uh, up and down Montmartre to, to sort of catch this scene. Anders Zorn lived from 1860 to 1920 and was known primarily for his portrait paintings. However, he did a number of landscapes as well. The unique feature about most of his work was that it was created in a very limited palette of white, red, yellow ochre, and black. A palette you might think simply would not work, but surprisingly, it gives the artist a great versatility. The life of Anders Sorn is the tale about the boy born empty-handed who works hard, wins fame and fortune worldwide, and returns home a hero. During the World Exhibition in Paris in 1889, he was awarded the Legion of Honor. His most successful paintings were portraits, and many of his portraits were painted in America. He painted bankers, captains of industry, and politicians. He even painted a few presidents, Grover Cleveland, William Taft, and even Theodore Roosevelt.